hello and um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm sorry that I've been away uh, for a number of weeks. Um, I um, am recovering from an operation um, and I've only just started to film videos again. Um, first of all, you might notice something a little bit different. Um, I have had some eyelashes put in today. Um, they're from a, a local uh, lady that um, I went to the salon near my house and she basically um, puts, um, instead of using uh, mink, uh, she uses uh, silk eyelashes, uh, which she puts on individually. Um, and so I had these put on today um, just to cheer myself up and um, uh, absolutely lovely. I love them. I haven't had um, eyelashes done in a while. So I, I thought I would uh, give a big up and thanks to Monica, um, who I'm sharing this link with shortly. Uh, and uh, I wanted to kind of show you um, the result. So, um, really really beautiful really really happy with that let's start with the mac and aladdin collaboration i have the makeup on as we speak um it's absolutely stunning um i have um a couple of things i bought from the collection so the foundation i have on is uh they don't have a foundation but just so you know i've got the fenty um pro filter foundation on in the color 310 um, I also have um, the KKW concealer in the colour, in the number nine underneath my eyes. Um, and then what I did was I basically used a beauty blender just to blend that out. And then I've put some eyeshadow on from the Aladdin collection. So I wanted to show you um, bits from the collection. Um, what I bought was um, the eyeshadow palette. And they all have some really lovely names. So this one is called... Um, I'll get the name for you. Uh, Princess Jasmine eyeshadow. Um, I'll give you a sneak peek. So that's the packaging. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm going to open it up for you there. So uh, I've used some of these colours already, but I wanted to show you kind of what the palette looks like. So you've got a lovely transition shade here, which is kind of like a light brown. Um, and then you've got some shimmers. Um, couple of shimmers that go through the center and then there are a few mattes um there's a corner to the right uh which is a pink mat um and at the bottom there is a black um which is really um universal you can use that for a lot of things and a kind of purpley mat just on the corner here you know i think it's really about experimenting and seeing what works with your skin tone um for me um for this particular look that i have i used um the color here um, to use as a transition colour um, and then I put um, that sort of lovely lilac purple on top in the, in the centre and then I put uh, the deeper purple um, on the V um, and underneath sort of just so that create a kind of smoky eye effect I took that purple and I put that underneath my eye as well and I then um, once I finished that I use this here as a highlight um, in the inner corner of my eye and on my brow bone there and on my cupid's bow so that color is great for highlighting so that is the jasmine palette which is jasmine palette which is absolutely gorgeous um, and then the other things that i bought from the collection were um your wish is my command which um is said it's a powder blush but in fact i think if you open it is lovely and there's the packaging there you can see that in fact it's more of a bronzer so i will show you that if you look inside the um packaging you can see that it's actually like an aladdin's lamp or the genie lamp um i went to see aladdin a few about a week ago and i really enjoyed it i mean i love the cartoon um uh, and also love Robin Williams who played uh, the genie so I think it was quite hard because I thought oh is Will Smith going to do a really good job but you know I think he played it the best he could and I don't think he was trying to imitate um, um, Robin Williams at all I think he was just trying to do the best he could with the role um, but I thought it was really enjoyable so definitely recommend you go and see that um, the other thing sorry I'm going off on a tangent that I bought was the colour um, Always One Jump Ahead which um, again is listed as a powder blush um, but in fact, again, packaging, gorgeous, um, gold um, with the Aladdin writing on it, um, is actually a highlighter. So if you look closely, you can see that is more of a highlight and you can see the genie lamp. 
I mean, the, the attention to detail and packaging is absolutely stunning. And I've got the highlighter on above my cheekbone here as well. And I've got the bronzer that I've put on here. So really good colours. I think it would work on most skin tones. Um, if you're a darker, deeper, deeper skin tone than myself, you may have to work at it a little bit. But in terms of kind of the sort of pigmentation, you know, I, I really was impressed. And I remember going into the store to swatch it and I really liked it. So I bought those two. Um, I also bought um, some lipsticks. There's a couple of lipsticks that they have in the collection. Um, I bought the one I have on my lips, which is Whole New World, which is like the, the song. Um, I absolutely love this colour. It's kind of like a fuchsia pink, but it's a really nice pink. So that is the pink. Let's see if you can see it closely there. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love that colour. So that's the colour I have on now. And then I also bought um, Princess Incognito. And I will show you that colour. Again, it's in that lovely gold packaging. This is more of a nude. It's a really nice nude. Um, and I think um it might not need a lip liner, but it, it may just to give it a little bit of shape. But it's a gorgeous colour. Kind of like a pinky beige. So I like that one too. And then the final colour I bought was Raja. Now Raja is a bit more deeper, so a bit more of a deeper colour. And I think that is absolutely stunning as well. So Raja is the name of her tiger, I think, in the cartoon and in the film. Um, so the other things I bought were... Um, the uh the sort of lip toppers the lip glosses that go on top um the one i have on top of this lip is called diamond in the rough again gorgeous packaging sorry that's wrong i think it was jewels on jewels but anyway yeah this this is a more lighter shade so i show you this it's kind of like a goldy goldy light topper which you can put on top of any of the lipsticks in the collection or just a topper on top of any lipstick you have at home really it's just a gorgeous kind of gold speckled color and um the other one i bought was jewels on jewels which is the color i have on now i'm getting confused sorry and that's more like a reddish sparkly color which is lovely and i put that on top of my lip my pink lip and it works beautifully absolutely stunning again the um, MAC lip gloss is a lovely and this packaging is beautiful. And um, the other things I bought were the Graph Black part of the collection liner, which is like a black liner. And again, the packaging is stunning. I haven't used it on my eyes today, but you can see that it's really fine and you can really use that in the way that you'd like. So I really like that. And the other thing I bought was the pigment. So they had a pigment, which is MAC do as part of their collections anyway. But this is the colour powder. And I bought this colour because I thought it was absolutely stunning. It's got kind of like pink shimmer in it. So what I'm going to do um, in between each of these is uh, also swatch these on my arms so you can see what it looks like in terms of colour against my skin tone. Um, and you can have a look and see what you think. Um, I bought uh, the um, number one wish, which is a crystal glaze gloss, um, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm not, I haven't got it on at the moment, but it's something you can put on. Um, it's it's a really lovely kind of topper or lip gloss, um, and yeah, that's, all of these things are limited edition. So if you can get your hand on any of these things, it'd be great. Um, and the last topper that I bought was in the colour Magic Carpet Ride, of course. Um, and this has like a purpley lilac um, sort of iridescent um, topper lip gloss. And it's absolutely beautiful. And I think that would look gorgeous on maybe Raja, which was the darker colour. Um, and um, what I have done as well, um, I do have lip pencils at home, but I bought another lip pencil um, in the colour Nightingale um, for more of a darker colour just so that there was some shape um, so this is just from, from MAC really um, and that's a, a pencil that you could use along with the collection um, so yeah 
my thoughts overall um on this collection is i think that um i think some people have been disappointed because i think they they would have liked more color i suppose um but for me um i mean i liked what they presented i i i think it would be nice to have a blush um perhaps um even though those two are called blushes and they're not you know one's more like a highlighter one's more like a bronzer would have nice to have to have a blush in the collection for me um i think it's a beautiful collection i think you won't go wrong if you do get it um you know i have a few favorites um the eyeshadow is great, but I think you could probably find other similar colours in other sort of palettes you might have. But I really liked A Whole New World, the lipstick, and I know that this sold out before everything else did. So I think this is a keeper. Um, I also love the pigmentation that I showed you earlier. I think that's a gorgeous um, colour. And I think, you know, if you were to put that on top of eyeshadow going out at night, it would look absolutely stunning um and yeah um overall oh uh, yeah i love the blush and i love the sorry the blush the two um the highlighter it's called a blush the highlighter and the bronzer i absolutely loved as well i think the pigmentation was really nice um so yeah um it's a thumbs up from me um hope you enjoy the collection see what pieces are left in mac i know it's still being sold on at the standalone stores and it's sold online at mac.co.uk um if you've got any questions at all um drop me a message on the comment section uh, see if i can sort of advise and help um but other than that thank you for watching my video and i hope to post more very soon thank you and don't forget to subscribe